and I'm Amy Hoyt. The state legislature was very good to the panhandle during the recently ended session. Senator George Gaynor highlighted that the area received record breaking appropriations in the proposed budget. As News 13's Chloe Sparks tells us, homes in Washington counties could receive millions in funding for various projects. County officials are getting excited for the chance to polish their areas. Homes in Washington counties are anticipating millions of dollars in state appropriations. What really helped us this year is that we had about we had about six billion dollars more to work with than we ever had before. Vernon could get more than one million dollars for a septage receiving station, and Washington County officials could receive nearly one million dollars to improve their agriculture center. Holmes County officials say they're most excited about the possibility of renovating their old ag center. The roof was falling in, the place was in very bad repair, so we were able to do something with all that for the people in Holmes County. Officials are hoping to turn it into a joint use building for EMS in the sheriff's office. And Doctors Memorial Hospital in Bonifay might also receive a million dollars. Our plan is to build a new uh, state-of-the-art uh, multi-specialty clinic uh, on our campus, um, probably about 10,000 square foot plus. Dr. Nguyen says this would house their cardiologist primary care clinic and possibly more. We're running out of space for our ambition. You know, we're, we're more ambitious than we actually are. This new medical office building could make room for those ambitions. Dr. Nguyen says this hospital served 49 zip codes at the start of the pandemic. Some of those patients coming all the way from North Georgia. Senator Gaynor says they deserve this upgrade. A very good little hospital that helped us during the pandemic. And I was so glad that we were able to kind of return the favor. In homes in Washington counties, Chloe Sparks, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Governor Ron DeSantis can still kill any of these projects with a line item veto before signing the budget. He has until July 1st. For a full list of appropriations, go to mypanhandle.com. The nation is facing.